M's are Earth XP Ham Tech. Let's upgrade the firmware on our Retivis RA89. First thing we'll do is go to this link on the right, scroll to the bottom until you see the firmware files. It's quite low down. And the link is in the description. So just click firmware update. Also run the driver as well. So here at number three, click driver install and just run it all through. I've already run mine. Just go next, 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 and that will be done. Then click and download the firmware. When you download the firmware, create a new file. I've already done one here, but on your desktop, I left a little gap here on the right. Right click and go new folder and call it RA89, okay? Which we've done here. So then when you download the software or firmware, click the firmware, double click the zip here at the top, extract to, and then on your, because it's on the desktop, select desktop, just look for RA89, which is what I do here. RA89, there it is there. Click that and then click OK and it will send all the files you need into that and they will look like this. So we quickly look at the change log. Nice little list here. Fix the problem, save operation with the same user manual, describe, add the mic gain menu, fix side key, no long press bold the display font, add talk around, T icon and reverse, support FM radio auto scan, set the side key to function scan under FM radio mode, active the side key will automatically scan the FM radio, cool, fix the problem if you turn hash nine beep off, the sound will disappear. Okay, so a few little bugs there and I'm sure more will come. The main standout feature of this radio, by the way, is that it's 10 watts and it's waterproof. It's a big, chunky device, quite a big, hefty battery on it. I believe it's 2,500 milliamp hours. It's a nice, chunky uh, VHF, UHF radio. So anyway, here is your files. The middle one, the RA89, that's our bin file that we're going to need. Underneath is the software we use to load it. We've plugged the cable in. My, there was a cable with mine. It came in the box. It's a two-pin plug on the right hand side you do have to unscrew the screw and pull off the cover and then it's just a normal Kenwood style two pin plug I've plugged it in plugged it into my computer and because we ran the driver as I said earlier if we go to device manager double click ports there it is prolific PL 2303 GS and it's com number 29 remember your com number close that down now we're going to run the update software, which looks like this. And we want to select COM29, which is not even showing. So now that's because we're not in firmware mode. So let's get it into firmware mode by turning off the radio, holding down the PTT, and then turning it on. So now the front does say update. So let's refresh, let's just close that and refresh. We'll run the software again and hopefully this time we might see, no, we're still not showing. Don't worry, we won't give up. We actually have instructions on the left hand side. What more could you want? It says here, when the power is off, please press the PTT and turn on the walkie talkie. At the same time, the LED will show update. Well, the screen says update, but no LED. To enter the upgrade mode, open the update software, select the COM as shown in the figure, and 57600, so 57600, COM. The COM is not, that's what's not showing, is the COM, it's not seeing the COM at the moment. Check update as figure. After the update is successful, we'll turn on automatically. So we know how to select the file, we go open, we know where the file is, so desktop RA89, which is here, oh, and there's the file, so the file's in there. The problem we're getting is that it's not seeing the com, let's right click the device manager again, device manager, Hmm, so if we unplug the com, and plug it back in, 
See, that did vanish. Plug it in. Definitely 29. So it's the port that is our problem at the moment. Right click the four squares at the bottom, go to device manager. Double click ports. Now we've changed the port to COM2 and board rate 57600. How do we do this? Right click, properties. In port settings, easy to drop down the menu and select 57600, but I decided to, to use a lower COM number because 29 was quite high. So then I went to advanced and then here I could change the common number. Now it does tell you which ones are available and two was available, okay? So we did that, click okay, and it reset all that. So we're now COM2 57600. So now we will run that software again. So double click our little file that we created, double click software, which is here. We've got 57600. Now let's see if we can find COM2. There you are, COM2. Now we'll go open and double click the bin. We've got the radio in update mode, as you can see, the cable's in. I can move that a bit closer, but it's so bright, it's quite hard to see. Anyway, it's there. And then we're gonna click update. The screen says update. So I feel like something's happening. They're not big changes, but we still want to know how to do it. So we'll let that run. I did a brief test on this earlier regarding the 10 watt out. I got nine on nine watts on two meters and about seven watts on 70 stems, but the battery was a third down. So I thought to myself, let's, um, you know, let's charge the battery fully and they are a nice chunky set I feel I can dim that down a bit while it tries to update and they're not an expensive set the nearest thing I've seen to it is the lection which does 20 watts so let's keep going. I'm leaving it live. Fast forward if it's boring. It's a nice chunky set. I mean, the battery, the whole thing feels chunky. Really in the middle where the torch was, they should have put a channel change knob. Right, upgrade complete. Click OK. The device has come back on. And if we look now, we go menu. menu. Go down to set. 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 Scan. Set. Set. there you are, 39, menu 39, and that's clearly saying we've now got version 91.30, and that was the one we just did. So hopefully that helps you with your firmware. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And just remember those blips I had where I had to change the COM number and also change the, to make sure the board rate that was showing just quickly show you that before we go. Shrink that down. Here's the board ray. Was set at 57600 and that was by going right click on the window squares. Device manager. Double click. There it is there. Right click. Properties port settings, drop down, and then advanced, COM2, and then once you've done that, you, you okay it. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73 Firmware, on the 10 watt IP68 waterproof, new to me, Retivis RA89, and they're about 80 pounds. 73, all the best.